Our Father's Footsteps tells the story of four men who landed on D-Day during the Second World War. These were ordinary men like our fathers, grandfathers, uncles, and even our great-grandfathers. Men who volunteered to serve their countries. After the war began, many men left wives and children at home with hopes of returning. Many never would. They died on foreign soil, on battlefields at Dieppe, Italy, Normandy, Holland, and other places where the war raged on. Thousands of families received the dreaded telegram. As the war continued to inflict misery around the world, Allied forces gathered in Britain in preparation for the invasion of Europe. For D-Day, more than 150,000 Allied troops boarded ships in what became the largest armada ever assembled. Church services were held aboard the ships. Men prayed they would survive the coming battle. Violent sea conditions on the English Channel had many men wishing they were already dead. Jerry Leavers landed on Juno Beach with the second wave. In his journal he wrote, Machine gun bullets started whining off our landing craft. When the doors opened, we jumped into the chest high cold water. There was only one man hit as we ran to the beach. I didn't know who it was, just that he was hit pretty bad. Jerry was wounded himself later that morning. After helping escort POWs to the beach, he waited with other injured soldiers for hours until being evacuated to a ship returning to England. Jack Hamilton was wounded twice. The second time was a month after D-Day, at the battle for the Carpentier Airport. He was wounded when a sniper's bullet hit his Sten gun, and shrapnel from the shot became embedded in his arm. On the morning of June 6th, Sapper Harry Hildyard of the Royal Engineers was in a boat far from shore. He watched in horror as landing crafts filled with British soldiers were hit by shells and exploded when these tiny boats hit a mine. Lieutenant Johnny Nuremberg of the Highland Light Infantry Regiment landed on the congested beaches of Normandy in the early afternoon. Five days later, in the town of Baron, Johnny was wounded in the leg. A bullet shattered his femur and he never returned to the battle. The stories in our father's footsteps are inspired by letters, telegrams, journals, and regimental war diaries. It tells how these four ordinary men were swept up in the extraordinary circumstances of a world at war. These men were lucky. They survived their brush with death, their what-if moments. <laughs>